Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be putting these two RC cars neck to neck to see which one is better. Alright, starting with this one, this is an Audi R8, no suspension, two wheel drive. Alright, starting here, we have the switch here, the motherboard or the circuit board here. This here is for the steering, here, that controls the steering so it sends signals straight through to here and it makes it turn one way. And when you turn this, that there turns the wheels, if you can see there. Up here, in the, um, or on the body shell, these wires here are for the actual lights on the machine. This here is the remote, and when you turn it on, it's got a cool display feature of its LED light. Alright, at the moment, see how it stutters like this here? Um, that means it's got a flat battery, because it's not getting enough voltage through to the motor. Oh no, I just snapped this here. That connects up somewhere here. Um, so I'm going to need to solder that back, and put some new batteries in. We have the new batteries in, and now time to solder. Alright, we have that back on now, right there. Time for the test drive. I'm impressed, That's, that was 30 bucks to buy brand new. And I'd probably give that 7 out of 10 for toy grade. And um, let's move on to the next one. This is a McLaren, and it's decently fast. It's got a spoiler like the last one, but the last one was a little bit bigger. Here is a size comparison to the last one. But I do reckon when you're working on this RC car, it is a lot easier because there, there, well, there was plugs in the old one. I ripped them out and soldered, but... When you buy it brand new, there's plugs in the circuit board, so you can easily plug it in. This was this car was in my last video, so you can go check it. Not my last one, but one of my other videos. Go check it out, and I'll show you inside it. I rewired everything, but there is still some plugs there. So there's one of the plugs. That green plug there is for the steering. And that other one, I do not know what that's for. There's two extra additional. That's one of the other ones. The other ones used to be right here. But I ripped them out and soldered some wires. These wires there to it. And um, it's got pretty good steering. And pretty good. It's got decent, decent speed. But one thing it doesn't have that the other one did have is lights on it. There are no lights, so do that's just fake lights there. But when you look underneath the shell, there's literally nothing there. It's just some shiny um, plastic. This thing here is the antenna that picks up picks up radio frequency signals. It's decently small as well. This is comparing it to my hand. This here is the remote. And um, it's got a nice McLaren logo kind of there for RC. And it's got, it's got not, it's alright the steering, but it, it could be better. I personally love the massive remotes like this. But, I mean, for 10 bucks, what do you expect? This is a $10 RC car. It's pretty cheap. And this is Australian money, so that would turn out $7 American. Let's start the engine. Turning. The plugs would be really nice for someone who has siblings because you can easily unplug them and as soon as your sibling grabs it, they can wreck it. So you can just unplug those and then they'd think it's broken and when you start playing it, you just open the thing up and plug the plugs back in. This one was a little bit harder than the other one to steer, but it would be easier brand new. The reason why is because when I took everything out and tried to make a new one, it did not turn out. I still had everything 
that I'd pulled out, but I lost the spring for the turning. So when you turn here, oh, it's off, but it would just turn and it has no recoil to go back. I'd probably give this here a 7.5 out of 10, so this one wins. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and share. Thank you.